inside it. You three are absolutely terrific in this film. And I wanted to ask you, when you started to shoot this, when did you know you were making something special? I think from the get-go. Yeah. I've, ne I've, I've never come across a script that, that was that strong and that real and honest and, and things that people would say. Sometimes you get scripts that are, you know, uh, revolve around teenagers and the, they're saying the most perfect thing in the moment. And teenagers aren't that sentimental, you know? And it just felt mm -hmm. very real. And also just meeting Alfonso, mm -hmm. I think he just puts, <laughs> as bad as it sounds, he puts a lot of directors to shame. His he does. vast knowledge of cinema and his passion for it is so infectious that I knew he was gonna make this something unique and special and I wanted so excited to be a part of it. Yeah, and RJ, for you, first film! My right. goodness, give yourself a pat on the back, wow. <laughs> there are you guys. Oh, that makes an awful sound. <laughs> it's <laughs> nice and sticky. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Matt, were you nervous? Like, well, I, did these guys help you? <laughs> I was nervous for 30 minutes out of the whole situation and then um, I met Thomas first and um, he just made it feel just like real loose and yeah. You know, other than the fact that I play, you know, Angry Birds in the audition room, <laughs> you know, at the chemistry read, he was just like talking to one of my friends, right. you know? Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. We got past that one. Now, if we actually do book it, we got other people we got to meet. Yeah. So then when I met them and they were all like just cool, and I was like, oh, thank goodness. Steven, I like him. <laughs> You know, and so I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah, I'm all in. Yeah, and you know, listen, a movie doesn't work if there's no chemistry, and boy, did the three of you have that. We I could mean, teach a, a class on chemistry. You get it? Because chemistry. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Except no test tubes here, my friends. Like yeah. really, you guys were so. You know, how, was it an instant thing? Um, you know, it didn't look forced. It looked very real. I mean, it's not something you can fake. You know, it's not like we, there's some workshop where they threw us together and like, all right, yeah. get, go get along. You know, yeah. go play. Like, uh, we were kind of just left to our own devices to mm. explore Pittsburgh together and we'd... Yeah, and we were all so that. excited to be there. Mm -hmm. so we just shared enthusiasm for yeah. the project and yeah. just, yeah, and now, we're, now we're great friends. Yeah, um, you know, you all have to really throw yourselves into this and of course, Olivia, like, I, you know, playing a, a girl who is not, who knows that she's going to die of cancer, that's, that's a mind... I don't even want to say that, you know, it, yeah. really, I don't know where you go. How did you embrace that? What did you do to prepare to just play her so real? Like, you know, you never, you never want to play a, a person with cancer as, as a victim or a tragic. She's so strong. She's a strong one in the relationship. She wants to um, make Greg realize his full potential. Um, and, you know, she could completely just go inside herself and, and wallow, but she, she doesn't. And I feel like... I'll, that's not an accurate representation of people that are going through this. And I met a girl in in LA yeah. at the Children's Hospital who had the same leukemia as, as Rachel did. And I spoke to her and her dad and her doctors. And me and Alfonso and I, we created this chart of the stages of chemotherapy and the stages of cancer. Mm -hmm. And so we could draw upon that um, when I needed to mentally and physically prepare for a certain scene. and. You know, shaving my head as well was the best thing I did to um, f honestly feel as much as I could Yes. Um, yeah. during the scenes, yeah. Um, and of course, you know, the two of your characters, you make these amazing movies. You know, was there a favorite? Because some of the titles, I could not stop oh, yeah, laughing. Really did you have a, yeah, that must have been just so much fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Making them was really fun. It was just, I mean, it really felt like very guerrilla style, like making something with your friends, figuring out as yeah. you go, you know. Um, a, a, a pooping Tom was a really fun one to make. Um, we did so many of them like in one day, so that's all kind of a, a blur. Yeah, yeah. 2.48 yeah. p.m. Cowboys, man. Loved it. That yeah. was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you guys should just do a separate film, just putting all these films together and then enter them somewhere or something. Yeah. That, like, you don't want to let, let that go by the wayside. Those yeah. are fantastic movies, yeah. yeah. Um, I can't imagine that working on a movie like this doesn't change you as people. It does. Mm -hmm. No, it definitely, right. definitely did. Um, yeah, I mean, I was, I was uh, anxious going to this project. I had never had been asked to be so emotionally available, and and I was nervous about being able to deliver on set. You know, it's one thing having a great audition, and then you have the part, and it's like, okay, now I actually mm -hmm. have to do this. And um, but it was so, I, I don't know, it was so, such a personal experience, and everyone's heart yeah. was in it 100 percent. That it was just about trusting the script and and. 
and really just falling in love with the characters and empathizing with them, and that was that was enough to get me there, mm -hmm. and uh, just getting to know everyone, really. Was it hard to say goodbye at the end of that shoot? I mean, oh, now, of course, we're doing press together, but yeah, wow. It's going to be, it so it's gonna be really hard when we, all the press is over. It's going to be, because then it really is going to be over. over. Yeah. We can't live in the memories of it really as much as we are now. But I do, I definitely do feel like I've, even though it was, I was playing a teenager, I definitely feel like that was my first adult role. Mm. So if you could wrap up really quickly, what would you like audiences to get from this, really? Because like I say, what I love most about it is it's not a downer, mm -hmm. you're not, it's not a weepy thing, it's it's a celebration God, of life. God, I hate life. that word. Yeah. I never hear people say it, I only see it in print. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, weepy. It's weepy. not, it's a celebration uh, of life, so, so how do you like want... It's so offensive. That's like weeping. Um, I hope it inspires... Um, young people to create and, and want to be creative and and hopefully they go and discover some of these more obscure films uh, mm -hmm. a lot of them I was discovering as we were shooting yeah. I want people to connect with people more to, to be empathetic towards other people to have conversations no one has conversations yes. in real life yeah. anymore put down your phones people. yeah put down yeah. your phones put yeah. down your fucking phones yeah yeah I just want people to be more appreciative you know I did the doctor feel here. Why do you do this? Man, you know, you know. You've got, you go into character when you answer yeah. these questions. It's um, good. It works for you. You guys are absolutely terrific. Oh, um, thank you. Fine young actors, and I know that we'll be seeing a lot of you from here on in. And keep coming back to Toronto so we can talk to you some more. Okay? Oh, yeah. Thank okay. you. Thank you.